way out there too, and he's, and he's in Nigeria. A, I'm just like, this place looks yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're rebuilding it. My dude worked with Akon and rebuild this whole diaspora thing. Oh, he's that close. Over. Like, where is it? Yeah, like he's a part they of. They have the, full cities. I, I, Akon's thing. I forget what it was called. My dude uh, Rashad. I forget what they call it. I was gonna look it up, but he had this whole Af- back to Africa movement. Is yeah, what, is what it is. And they're moving people back. They're showing them how to create businesses and make money. And Akon pushed this. Whole I don't thing think they want it. us over there, bro. He made me think about moving to Africa. I'm like, I think some people don't want you there, about it, but I'm like, it's too, like it's too hot. Some people feel like you're an American, you're never gonna get it. But a lot of people do want you there. Or well, maybe you, they want maybe you, you don't fire. get it because your fucking country is. No, you forward. should get it. <laughs> their their, their no. movement is to get black people to move to Africa. Yeah, but do you know it's like Africans here still don't mess with like black people too much? Yeah. Well, no, no, the Africans here come here because they're looking for the opportunity. Like that's the thing that we don't talk about enough is a lot of people move here to seek out. Yeah, hey, kind of like those immigrants that's moving here. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Everybody moves to America to make money. Like that's the. There's no other reason. There's no one here. Yeah. for our values. You come for freedom for to make money. Well, no, freedom no, is relative because there are other countries with more freedom. freedom. Well, a lot of people. We could go and we live in Africa. We make could, money. That's the. the that's the it is thing. easiest country to make money. Capitalism. That's because of the quote unquote freedom that we're supposed to have that they don't have in other countries to do certain things or start certain businesses no, can, or, or things of that nature. Shit in most so of freedom Europe, is a part of it. In New Zealand and China, I mean, you have to. But who, who is there? In China. I don't know. But, I never lived in other countries. I don't know what was going to be well, top no, on my list. I don't know if I'm gonna look up when Trump won the presidency. Like best place for black people to live, and there's there's a shit ton of places for us to live that are. As good, if not better. They say there. Germany. Guyana, I think Guyana Germany was number really one, right? Good, if you have money. They said Germany was number one for black people, right? Germany is like number. Two. It was top. It was I, top. China, China was technically number one. But really? Reason, because China? if you don't live on mainland China, it's actually really nice and really westernized. We'll have to look that and up. And on top of that, China had one of the few. They're like two countries that were really high up on the ranks for black people: New Zealand and China. Both of these, because they had a whole month where they actually sought out to figure out what is it that black people want. And how can we learn black culture? You don't ever see America like, yeah, let's learn how black people. China actually has a whole month where the that don't mean they all... want us over there. Wait, wait, wait. That we don't mean they back. want us over there. Bro. No, no, they're doing a lot of inter... they're doing a lot of uh, marriages with people in Africa. So China off la- off mainland again. Mainland it sucks. Okay, but I Hong agree. Kong, Erica, that whole strip up, even parts of Thailand, they are very, very good for black people because again, they look at black people as you're probably going to end up being the future, and we want to work with you. That's why they're building that whole. Oh, well, that's because strip. black people were the past. True, <laughs> but but China yeah. always looks thinking two years, two thousand years in the future. Hmm. Every move that China makes is always two thousand years in the future. That's why everyone's like, "How's America becoming like the second world power?" Because nigga, two thousand years ago, they were like, "I see that the Western world will rise." Because they <laughs> remember they got attacked by Genghis Khan at the same time Genghis Khan attacked Europe, and they're like. One day those little European motherfuckers is gonna make it up. So we need to have a culture and a environment that's ready. Now they didn't get fucked. I mean, when the British took fucking Hong Kong, but they beautified Hong Kong, and then what happened a hundred years later? They had to give this shit back. So now you're giving me back something that you've enriched. Yeah, you had businesses, but eventually your people are gonna be like, oh, this under this isn't under British control anymore. Yeah, we're moving back. So then you have to sell it back to us. So you're selling us shit that you enriched for us. But that's just how China is. But getting back to the Democratic debate. We and Cory Booker would never support reparations. Yeah, Cory Booker will never he support said reparations. That? He'll have a hearing Did on he it, say but that? he doesn't want it. Did he say that? Uh, Did he say actions. what? Did he say that? No, his actions. Did he say his, that? His main state, like whatever the establishment wants, he's not going to do it. I'm I don't want you. him to win. What I really want, let me say what I really want about this Demo- these Democratic debates. I want it to be whittled down to like a top six. Oh, that'll happen by the end of Cut this Cut all year. the fat. I mean, but they're going to waste a but whole no, no, lot of time in between anything. that. Remember, the next debate is by the end of July. And if you don't have 140,000 People who have you can't signed up with at least 500 being in each state, you yeah. can't move forward. So that means that Cory Booker's going to move forward, uh, Kamala's moving forward, Biden's Yang's moving forward, Biden's moving forward, forward. Mm-hmm. Warren's moving forward. But all these other people that you're like, uh yeah, Mayor Butts moving Buddha forward. Judge. Buddha Judge. Yeah, yeah, Buddha, Buddha Judge. Buddha Judge. Buddha Judge. Buddha Judge moving <laughs> forward. Um, Julian Castro might make it. Beto will Beto probably work make it. Bob Beto's going to make it. Yeah. yeah. Bob I call him Beto. White Obama. The White Obama. White, o- White Obama. <laughs> he got Obama <laughs> swag. He got man. smooth swag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, again, I think he's actually probably. He's the, someone, he's someone I think he's that, probably I, the best candidate. I'm he's someone really who could probably run the country very well. But the problem is, he's going to keep making really dumb moves. Like his whole thing of uh, when he talked about reparations, he was just like, "Oh yeah, I don't think we should ever do it." It's like you don't get to have all this history of being anti-black and say that you should at least lie to people. Because look at Trump. Trump like has only done 17% of the shit that he told people he was going to do. And he lied about over 50% of what he said he was going to do. He's going to... That's most president. Can talk about that dude? 
He's gonna win again. I don't know. Who? Well, no. If the economy, if the economy, you said Trump's gonna win again. Wins. I hope not. I no, if, the, economy, if the economy stays well, he wins because argue. a sitting president has never been unseated in a time of economic stability. Yeah, but that's what he's best at. Sure. But a sitting president has never been unseated in times of economic. At the Russia Gate, that's but what I knew. Aren't, he was aren't we again. talking about? Um, the recession coming? Yeah, but again, it so, has to happen has to during come. the same election cycle. It doesn't mm. matter if it happens rightly after. And also, the thing that we don't like to talk about for Trump, Trump is a shitty person. But his war with China technically worked out because China conceded to our new demands. Mm. His whole thing with North Korea, that's a fuck nigga shit. But it's a huge political stunt. If he gets uh, Kim Jong uh, June or whatever Kim the whatever latest is, one is, yeah. if he gets him to actually come to the DMZ and shake his hand, that's a huge political I victory. Already did it already happened. It happened. That oh, happened this morning. That happened this morning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. in that case, then that's a huge political <laughs> victory for him. Why? So, Why is that a political victory? Because he can tell his base, even though it's a complete and total fucking lie, that look, I'm trying to make peace in uh, across the world. And they'll be like, yeah, Trump, look at what he's doing. Obama never did that. It's like, yeah, because back then the FBI, CIA, and all the other federal agencies were telling Obama, don't you fucking even look at that. Hold on. So people oh. are that stupid? Yes. Yes. That's the, the problem fuck? that y'all don't realize. Trump won based <laughs> on stupidity. <laughs> no. No, Trump is the biggest troll job white people no, no, pulled on the, yes, the social is. justice warriors. He he's the best <laughs> troll job that white people pulled on themselves. But Trump doesn't believe majority of the things that come out of his mouth, like most New Yorkers. But he believes if he just talks about it enough, just like P. Diddy, that people will fucking eventually mm. join the ranks. And that is what has happened time and time. Put again. Camilla Harris up there. I'm voting for Trump. No, you're not. Say that, bro. I bet I, bet I will. I'm, go, I'm going to the polls I, with you, bro. I ain't gonna let you do it. Yeah. I ain't gonna let you do it, man. I'll vote for Trump. Why? Why? Put Camilla why? Harris up there. Corey Kamala Booker. Harris. Why? Well, you know what? what? Let's have that face. conversation. This conversation about what you say in the beginning, uh, uh, the Satan versus Satan light. Yeah, Satan versus Satan. Or, or Satan you know, light. yeah, yeah. I would, I, I would vote. I'd Who vote you vote? Over, you going Satan over. light, right? Who going Satan light? No, no, no. It's not even that she's Satan light. The difference with I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about anybody that you don't like in a Democratic nominee. So you're gonna put Beto up there versus Trump. Anybody? I'd vote for Beto over there. No, no. I would, oh, sorry, not Beto. Uh, I'm putting Buttigieg. I'm putting Yang. The spiritual I'm putting, lady. I never over voted Trump. for Buttigieg. I'm never gonna it's vote list, for the spiritual name? lady. It's, 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 if there's another Mary female, Williams he's gonna win. Oh, oh, oh. If there's another female, he's gonna win again. No, 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 no. I, don't think, I don't think that's true. No. I think I think Kamala can win. <laughs> yes. <And> I, <laughs> even white women didn't vote for the female. I, I, <laughs> what, I know. I said if there's another true. female, Trump's gonna win. Do y'all not think at this point in time it's more important to get him out of office as opposed to getting the right person in office? Because people always say it's more important to get him out but getting him out if we're going to have a whole do nothing administration doesn't accomplish anything correct yes like, it does I, it no. gets no. him out the, but what that will be like to, the last four years right. of Obama's administration exactly so so let me nothing let me, remember it only matters get, whoa, getting whoa, him whoa. out only matters if we win the senate and y'all niggas is not going to go out and vote for the senate candidate Who so not? it doesn't matter I'm not I mean I am not you about? but people in general well, like, but that's the thing. This is what I'm saying. I, I think more than likely, if we don't get him out, more bad things will happen. What like happens? what? I'm like talking what about the, the deterioration what of the country. You what telling happened? me? You no, telling no, me? What it's, bad it's things not happen? What happened so far? What do you mean? For black people, this is this is the, the same. reemergence of the KKK. They've always been there. <laughs> I said reemergence. They were there when Obama <laughs> elected. Obama. Bro, was they walking down fucking Charleston yes. Street? Yes. Was it really? Yes. Really? Yes. The media is just covering it differently. <laughs> Yeah. The media, the media, you're allowing the media to shape it. Yeah. The reemergence of the KKK happened since Obama got elected. Correct. He got elected in 08. That's when the KKK put a huge campaign together. And reemergence and emboldening. These yes. are two things that are happening no, 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 no. since he Trump. He has emboldened him, but they never fucking went anywhere. And that's the problem is what you need to realize is that white people are just as racist and just as liberals as they've always been. Get Out was a fucking documentary because liberals are just as bad as actual Republicans because liberals won't tell you that they fucking hate you to your face. They'll tell you versus their policies like when they gentrify your neighborhood and kick your fucking grandmother. I out. understand all that, but these are these are the type but of But it's not about understanding all that because beyond I don't the need president, these white the people president to has like very them. little to do with your actual fucking life. The president has super little. Yes, if you're a woman right now, you're probably scared, but you don't have ovaries. All right, so scared for what? I understand what you're saying scared, about local scared politics. About whole, scared about the whole Abortion. having kids thing. I understand what you're Which saying. Which don't about, get pregnant. Listen, listen, <laughs> but that's impossible. I understand what so you're saying about local politics. I actually didn't let the niggas nothing though. So local politics, <laughs> local <laughs> politics has more impact on you <laughs> than national politics. Right. I get that, but at the same time, <laughs> na- local. Can politics, you tell me how Trump has affected you? Okay, 
guess what? The next time, the next case going to the Supreme Court that we think should go in our favor or something that people of color that us agree with that goes to the Supreme Court, are we guaranteed that it's probably going to fail? There's going to be a law against you it. Yeah, be more specific. For real, that could be. Yeah, that could be go abortion. Any. Let's. Yeah, I was talking abortion, right? That's for black. That would white. benefit <laughs> us. It would benefit us to make abortion no, it illegal. It, it, you it, want it abortion illegal? Us. It would benefit us. Where am I at? Where am I at? Why am I at? Where am I at? <laughs> One thing you we don't... So I'm going to say something very controversial to you. you. Who commits the most black on black crime? Black people. Black people in particular who? Men? 15 million babies. Wow. <laughs> murdered <laughs> by black <laughs> women. Hey. Yeah. Counter argument to that bullshit. The counter argument to that bullshit. So you <laughs> police... Abortions, and then you end up with the Romanian problem where you get overthrown by the same people that you didn't have. We need before. numbers. No, no, we don't need numbers because the problem is, is that what we need is a movement to bring black people back to having mother, father households, Correct. or even father, father, mother, mother. I don't give a shit. As long as there's two people in the black household raising a kid, mm-hmm. then we're infinitely better. But the problem is, is that we have a culture. And we have a group of people who have decided that for whatever reason, we are going to make it about everyone can do what they want, everyone can whatever. And that's cool, provided people take accountability for the actions they have. If you sleep with a nigga, doesn't matter how good he looks or an inverse, if you sleep with a chick, no matter how great the pussy was, if that person gets pregnant or someone gets you pregnant, you have to then, at that point in time, reevaluate your whole life. And we all know people right now who ain't on their third or fourth kid, and they still with somebody who ain't shit. What did you think? You thought the third pregnancy was gonna change this nigga, or you thought the third, you thought knocking her up a third time, she was gonna magically become the wife and mother that you thought she should have been? That person ain't shit. But black people, the problem is, is that with white people, they have several factors working in their favor. One, wealth. When you have a lot of money, people tend to not fuck up as much. And they fix True. issues. Two, money does fix issues. Yeah, money fixes a lot. Yeah, of Yeah, but issues. some people can't handle money. No, no uh, yes, but you, money fixes issues overall. Because if you understand that fucking up and getting pregnant by a bunch of people is going to mean you're going to be cast out of the will, you're going to be much more likely to keep it together at least until dad dies. But that's, that could be 40, 50 years. Yes. 40, 50 years at, of somebody trying not to get pregnant by the wrong nigga. <laughs> exactly. Well, that's what about, a problem, that's it, a problem it, that we don't have. Like, if you're talking money, a lot of people who do get pregnant are in financial situations where they can't support a family. Exactly, no, but no, saying, no. This is what they do. What we, ne- we used to do, we don't do it anymore. If you're young and you're pregnant, what happens in white families? Still to this day, what happened? They marry you off. You gotta do that. <laughs> but now you're talking about putting fuck relationships and families together. People who don't want to. If be y'all together. fucking, then don't fuck people you don't want to marry. Stop saying you. You act like you ain't ever fucked nobody you ain't want to marry. Bro, I'm okay. telling you, bro. You well, just fine. Just fine. Answer, the, answer the question, bro. Answer bro, the question. then why not use a we condom? We trying to then? change the mentality. Why That's not what, use a condom? We okay, changing I, the mentality. I, I, if we want to change the mentality, Correct. you don't force it by law. That's gonna no, be no, no, we're saying about law. We, we're no, we're black. Fuck the law. Right. We <laughs> got <laughs> the law. Yeah, we play. <laughs> yeah, we're black. Fuck the law. But we gotta change make, our mentality. If you make the abortion the law, we it's our mentality. Yeah, yeah. But yes. that, making the abortion law is not gonna help that, the mentality. The thing that he was trying to articulate that he didn't, and because he was essentially trying to goat you into this, is that by cha- <laughs> by forcing all these women to have pregnancy, mm-hmm. you're gonna change who people vote for because they're gonna want to bring into effect someone who's gonna change these policies back, and that is gonna be a unifying force. We believe that because I don't believe white women are down like they say they down. No, 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 no. White women aren't uh, gonna be down until they actually have to keep babies, just like everybody else, for the most part. I think that will change. It's be like, It'll change some people. Yeah, it's gonna change. It's people. not gonna change the wealthy ones. Oh no no no! Oh, remember abortions are for poor people. Exactly. Abortion if you got it, don't and you fucking everybody. She's keeping it. <laughs> she's you're right keeping. about that. You're yeah. right about that. A lot remember of remember abortions. Be. It's not a baby unless you're rich. But then you gotta look at the dudes. I don't know why dudes ain't even thinking about this. It's on men. If we you, have to if change you got men's the, If you got bread and you get a chick pregnant and you ain't you're got stupid. no business doing nothing with you, stupid. Just like these. Why would athletes? you not want to be able to go take care of that? Take care. But someone don't know. They're I mean, not like take care. But you don't realize we, <laughs> she's not gonna get that. That's right. If you're rich, she's yeah, not she's not getting, not getting no she's abortion. This shit. Possibly. That's no, money. No, look at Drake. Oh, look at Drake's baby mama. You're talking chicken to a lot of things. You, you never no, 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 no. No, look at Drake's baby mama. She no. was a porn star herself. The moment she thought she might be pregnant by Drake, it's yours. It's yours, Drake. She might have been. You think Drake tried to talk to an abortion? No, 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 no. Remember, I guarantee he thought about it. At the start, she didn't know whose baby it was because that's how many niggas with nothing in her. Hmm. That were famous. God damn. She didn't know how many. <laughs> how many? You put it that way. That's funny. She didn't know whose baby it was, but she rec- But she based off the time who she had sex with last, and it was Drake. 
Yeah. That is a woman who has money. She is a porn star. And she's retired, which means, generally speaking, to retire her age, she's, what, like 30-something? That means that you've made a lot of money. Because most porn stars retire right at around 40-ish. Yeah, because they don't money, make a lot of money. A lot of money for a porn star ain't a lot of money in the big Yeah, it ain't Drake money. That's no. why she it's kept enough, the baby. It's comfortable living. Though. No, she, it ain't Drake money. That's why she <laughs> kept the baby. It definitely ain't Drake money. It ain't Drake yeah. money. I get it. Yeah, get remember, it. if you got it, ain't no such thing as abortion. We gonna figure this out. Um, <laughs> we gonna figure work this out. it out. Even if, and you really don't have a choice in it whatsoever. So that's another thing we try to do, but we yeah, gotta we do it around the woman. We try to make it like we do have a choice. You got to, you got to actually be about like making sure that you're not fucking these hoes because yeah, it's like, I mean, I've changed my starts. ways, bro. That's where it starts. You did. I've changed my ways. Right, that's a good look. That's a good look. How I ask you to change. How many way? people are you fucking now? Oh, He's keeping it just one. Keep it just one. While we're on the subject of pregnancy. Just because I think we're done with the the debate. Yeah, we didn't do it. We're gone. No, uh, we, 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 do, we gotta do day two. No, no, no. no, no, no. We, do, we covered the important part. The important okay. part. We is, gotta wait till this we, whole thing we, die down and they get some of these. Yeah, because the Camilla out Harris out thing, right? I can't believe you said you're on her train. No, 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 I'm not on her train. I'm on oh. her train to defeat Trump if she ends up being picked. That oh. black woman will not defeat Trump. I think she'll win. I don't think she'll be the nominee. I think she'll be the nominee. Because I don't think, I think so. There, I don't think. I think the fact that Joe Biden now is losing people in California. That's spreads. It's I got a question wildfire. for the non politics watcher. Who you think winning? I don't know nobody in it. <laughs> oh, damn. I think Bernie's going to get it. Bernie. Just say Bernie. Bernie 2020. <laughs> he lost last time. Why is he going this time? Well, no, he got stolen from last time. Yeah. yeah. And what's going to stop from happening again? They don't well, partly it. because the Democrats know that they're under investigation this time around because we now know that they stole it last time. So right. now everybody is pretty they're much watching scrutinizing them. Hopefully everything that's going down in the DNC. Yeah. Now, this doesn't mean that they're not going to try to steal it from him, but he had a pretty good show. I mean, it was typical Bernie. Who? How old God. is he, though? It seems like every yes, time he will be the oldest president. That's what I'm saying. Every time I see like he's the old person. He will be the oldest president going into it, but he's not the oldest president we've ever had. So, right. I, I think Bernie's, Bernie's going to get Fuck with it. Bernie. I'm riding with Bernie right now. Yo, check well, out Yang. Bernie just has actual ideas check out that Yang. he can articulate. I heard him. He sound good. I just, I don't, I, I, hey. I don't, I think Bernie need his Andrew shot. Andrew Yang only is because my favorite. That's the Andrew one Yang is my favorite. He's far enough to make some serious changes. Hey. Every time he keeps saying the same thing about taking on these institutions that nobody wants to take on, I'm behind that. Correct. I don't think Bernie's going to be able to do that without a house and a Senate. With somebody who's going to attempt. And remember, corporate <laughs> Democrats. It's are a, still there's a lot of, they're still there, but I, he's hey, going to attempt. Corporate Democrats are nothing but Republicans. But some people won't even attempt. But that's what Joe Biden is, and that's why yeah. I think it's so scary. That and people, Obama was. That people are <clears throat> okay with that. No, Obama <laughs> to a certain extent, no, because Republicans Obama would never was sign great. up for. I would for, never say a negative uh, thing about Obama. Yeah, because Republicans, regardless of whether they think whether they say it or not, Republicans always think that everyone should have to have a bootstrap mentality, and anyone mm. who's given anything is a bad person. But the people they support were given everything. I know, from but they don't talk about. They don't talk about. Who yeah. their main mm -hmm. uh, constituency is, which is the country, the Midwest, people who now are sucking down government fucking benefits like nobody's business. The true welfare queens and kings in America. Yeah, right. corporate America and middle America. Yeah, middle America sustains corporate America because middle America does everything they can to vote against their own interests. Now, the Rust Belt will be key, and that's why, like, I, earlier I, I passed an article around which you two didn't get a chance to read, but essentially it was the people who lost Ted Cruz. Uh, Jeb Bush, uh, Marco Rubio, Rubio and um, one other person, like the people who ran their campaigns, they got together and they're like, what are the things that you can do to win? And one thing that they said that was proven true by the second debate was, if I'm Kamala, I'm coming in out and I'm coming out swinging at Joe. Because that's the only person you need to beat. If you can beat Joe, then you can easily get the nomination because they're like, Bernie Sanders is going to be fucking Bernie. So you can't even get to his level of left. So don't even fucking try like don't even talk about it. Don't even do whatever. Everybody else, you don't. They don't really have name recognition. But if you can go out swinging, then you stand a really good chance of winning that debate. And if you can win this one, and then also win July, then October, you're gonna be a really good place. Bernie Yang, 2020. Bernie Bernie Yang would be the strongest. I like that. Would be the strongest, I, I think. But it, I would want to say Yang first, Bernie second. Whereas likely it would end up being Bernie first, Yang second, which could end up still being good because Bernie. You want to be Harris Warren? No, 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 no. Harris would have to be backed up by someone. A white male butt gig. I think butt. butt gig. I think butt is a, <laughs> butt is a great way to to try to 
tease the gay vote, but at the same time, which I know people are going to be like, oh, he said the gay vote. Let's not, be honest. I don't think the gay vote Let's is a real honest. thing. Gay people vote together like a voting block, like black people. I don't believe it's that. Not do enough. It's I don't believe that. Do what do you mean they don't believe that? I don't believe that. I think they want us to believe that, but okay, well, there's no way in hell that these Republicans are getting elected by just straight people. No, no, no. No, they voted, <laughs> for, they voted for Trump because yeah. they... At the end of the day, whether gay, whether white, straight, whether it's gay men want to say it or not, they didn't want a woman. They didn't want a woman. Of course, that's what I said. Don't. Uh, but that's what I'm saying is that that's that's that's. And the, you think Harris is promise. the woman? No, I no. think Harris is a good is a good enough example of them to be like she's an exception. Black people are not going to vote for her. You don't need black people to vote for her because black people don't fucking vote as a model to begin but with. She don't have the youth either. She doesn't have the youth. She doesn't have black whoa, people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, she doesn't have the youth. But you don't give a fuck about the youth. Again, you don't care about the youth, and you don't care about black people. You need to. You need to appeal to corporate Democrats, and you need to appeal to people in the Rust Belt. And she does. She ta- she uh, trends very well in those two markets. So did Hillary. Remember, Trump won based on the Rust Belt. Hillary, if you can tell Hillary Michigan, trended well in the Rust Belt. Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. No, Ohio. she lost all three of those. No, but she they had a projector to win those. No, she was never projected <laughs> to win those. Anyone who's we gotta go back. You look at CNN. You can't believe <laughs> CNN. And y'all forget that CNN. Y'all CNN. forgetting these places that Trump did well in and one that nobody expected him to win normally went Democratic. After the lies that they went through, do you think they're gonna stay there? I think I think they will stay there if you come up here with some Joe Biden bullshit. I think they'll stay there if you come up there with some Camilla Harris bullshit. But Kyle, Bernie, I don't care what her goddamn name. Bernie, you gotta, you gotta, no, I don't Bernie. Bernie's I don't, gonna win it all. I don't think. I don't, think, old, I don't think Bernie's gonna trend. Is gonna trend well in the Rust Belt. I don't think that's so gonna either. be because the so thing that, that's gonna be a challenge. The thing for that him. Hillary Clinton spent too much time on is trying to win Florida. Fuck Florida. That's one thing I agree with Republicans on. You're never going to win Florida. What? Who? Who? Democrats. You're never. They gonna win Florida. Florida. No, no, they lost Florida last but, time. Yeah, but they won it before. They won it with Obama. Yeah. Because Obama won Florida. They won it because it was Obama, not traditionally Republicans. Bill didn't win fucking Florida, why? and Bush, I think Bush why did, won why Florida, did Florida twice. like Obama? Bush did not win Florida the first Bush time. Bush won Florida twice. That was good. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah, that was good. He's it, but that's all that matters. <laughs> Remember, you don't need you don't nigga. It don't matter how you cheat in America, just long. <laughs> hey, speaking of Florida, you know they still selling crack down there. <laughs> Whatever they sell. I don't know. But, but it's, it's crazy. Corey, it's Corey's crazy. not worth talking so about. All right, Corey's not worth talking about. He's out there. He's gonna be out. Corey's gonna be out by October because I mean, he just doesn't have. He just doesn't like. At least Kamala brings a strong enough emotion for this man to be like, "All right, I'm already. I'm done with this shit." And for you, Fortune, to be like, kind of whatever. And Tony be like, nah, "I'll see when the when the voting booths come out." <laughs> but Corey doesn't elicit any of those things. But I think if if Kamala can focus on the Rust Belt. And do those things. She'll do well. Do I want her to win? No. But do I think that she's probably she cannot a, win. She's a woman. No, I think I hate to say it. I don't think I don't think her it's being a woman has anything to do with it. I think it'd be too I think much. She's I think she's a black enough. woman. I think no. I think she's divisive, which is too enough. much for the country to take a mean? woman she's and not, a black woman really black. at the same time. She's Indian and Jamaican. She look black. She's she Jamaican. She's Jamaican. She black. She does not. Look she don't look black. Niggas' husbands. And blocking Ooh. up thousands of young Ooh. black men. I mean, no, I do, I haven't forgotten either of those Ooh, things. When did that <laughs> happen? To be honest, <laughs> to be honest the up. fucking niggas husband part, I was like, well, I mean, well, who husband she? You got to get it. How you? She live. married? Uh, no, 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 no. This is before. Oh, this she is, is married. Go look at her husband. Oh. Her husband is white. Oh shit! <laughs> and her husband, her husband is a very well. Very well known white guy. So very I'm not connected. on the Harris train. Exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm Bernie. I'm saying I'm Bernie, though. That's what I'm saying. Like she's got the connections to be able to pull it off if she can get down to the debates. Yeah. The don't look at her husband. She has. And to- they have no children. Hmm. Well, the having no children thing, I think, isn't as big a factor anymore after Tr- Trump. Because come on, Trump got two love ch- children that weren't even allowed to come on stage. Yeah. They were yeah. at the debates, and people would look at the camera on them, and they'd be like, "Oh no, no, no!" <laughs> <laughs> Father says I can't be on here. <laughs> so I, don't I think, think a lot of people see something weird about a woman not having kids. Well, I feel like a, a lot certain of people age, do. Yeah. Like, I think a lot of people do, but. That's not going to be a thing. I think it's going to be like House of Cards. It's going to be a problem until it's not. And I think this could be the election where it's not. Or you're right. It could be an election where that becomes a central issue where Trump makes that. Because, I mean. They're hot. Why don't you have any kids? But why is that, <laughs> why is that a problem, though? It shouldn't be. But you've got a it whole is. legion of people who consider it too. Some There's people been just families don't want in kids. the White House for the last right. 
families. No yeah, bachelors, families. no single people. Yeah, but some people just don't. Well, no, no, no. no. There, there, was, there was a whole single thing. Uh, I think it was like Coolidge or one of those other guys. Someone who didn't Calvin have like, any Coolidge? real children. They about, like claimed he, his cousin. He, and everybody we're talking about bullshit. Calvin Coolidge? Yeah. From, I don't even know what year I, that again, was. Again, <laughs> we're not talking about the recent ones because the recent ones. All had families. The recent ones all had families. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a trend now. Twins, now it's Obama a, daughters, family. Yeah. Bush kids, little. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's a no, part we, of the package. We've had, we've had that going back. Reagan's, before. Kennedy's. But that's not going to be as divisive an issue, I think, at some point. Carter it's had just whether or not It's just whether or not it becomes an issue this term or not. But well, I don't want to be lost. This is the only thing I don't want to be lost. Go ahead. Final thought. Kamala Harris in the second debate took aim at uh, <coughs> Biden, right? I feel like it was low-hanging fruit, and that's a part of what bumped her up. I don't want people to get blinded by that. See what happens in the next debate. Well, no. I, I think that she's been trending well for a while, and this was just the smart move from her campaign standard. You wouldn't leave something like that, especially since Joe immediately turned and pulled a politician move and lied about it, only to be confronted with the truth the next day when everyone else was like, wasn't this your fucking memo right here? This is not right. your signature? This not, like, the problem is Joe <laughs> keeps your name on it. With this your name is the internet age and anything that you've ever said and done will be brought up right, for right, 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 right. Now, that is exactly why people were dragging uh, Kamala at the beginning because they're like, weren't you the same chick locking niggas up for marijuana and anything in between? Oh, but I was a prosecutor. Didn't you make fucking, what is it, the uh, head prosecutorial whatever for California where you could exact policy changes? Yeah, but I, she didn't have a good answer for that. I think she's been practicing something and that that will be what the debate in July will be. Joe is going to come for her over that, over her Probably. record, because Probably. she attacked his record. And we'll, um, it'll be interesting. All they should be able to defend that. No, I, I mean, no, none she, of them really can, unless they're going to lie. No, no, no. She should be able, to defend, she should be able to defend her record. I was it's following just, the rule of law. Exactly. Mm. You got to just have something that appeals. Again, that people. Appeal. we keep acting like the black vote is whatever, but black people don't just vote as Black people swing elections. Yeah. No, black people swing elections in desperate times. Like, uh, Bill Clinton's second term, where it was looking real close, like we were about to have President fucking Bob Dole. <laughs> <laughs> it was real fucking close. But I think in the next in in this election and the next election is not going to be as essential. I think the closer we get to 2050, where the Hispanic uh, vote starts having a broader effect, that's when mm, some of them, some of them not. But that'll be when it matters more for Democrats to get black people because at that point in time, the white power block will be smaller. And at that point in time, you need more of whoever you can get. But this current couple of elections, you could not get any of the black votes because what are they? What is what is an actual Democratic president done for you in the last Nothing. 20 years? <clears throat> not a goddamn thing. What did Trump do immediately after his tax reform? Yeah, it sucks for y'all, but anyone who's banking six figures, we did fucking well. All right, <laughs> Trump got me two, two pay raises. <laughs> two. Now, that's a fact. That's a fact. So people can say, "Oh, well, yeah, but Obama had whatever." Yeah, if you were broke, nigga, for, for the middle class is the people who hurt me. Yeah, but the, the thing about what it is, black class? people, black people are in well, two classes. Lower class. Black people yeah. are in black people are in the lower, the poverty, the whatever, and the niggas who are doing well. We don't really have too many average niggas. It's either people doing eh, or people doing. Well, you don't give a fuck about them. What you telling me? I'm not saying I don't give a fuck about it. I'm just saying that they don't like, those like motherfuckers saying, don't vote anyway. I'm saying the niggas, and half the time don't, they, don't they don't vote, and. I would respect somebody if they said, you know, I don't vote. You know the dumbest on... thing I hear from black people consistently? Oh, you know, go into it. It don't even matter if you vote. Exactly. That's the dumbest election. thing that black people keep repeating. It makes you want to punch a nigga in the head, right? It makes, it makes <laughs> you want to be like, you, you know what? <laughs> this is exactly why <laughs> yeah, right. This is exactly why niggas make it and then they vote Republican. <laughs> and y'all be over here like, how could George, how could Michael Jordan have such bad policy? Nigga, he's worth two billion dollars. Wait, 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 wait. Michael Jordan is not a Republican nor a Democrat. He's never came out as anything. Do you know that nigga's a Republican? You don't need to lie to yourself. <laughs> no. You can lie we don't to know yourself. No, we don't know that for a fact. Yeah, I don't, we don't, know, we don't know that for a fact. I know there's lies been spread about Michael Jordan, but no one ever really confronts him directly about it. Because yeah. they wouldn't do that shit. Well, no. The reason people don't confront <laughs> Michael Jordan for that is because Michael Jordan's known for being a petty asshole. He'll punch him in the face. You're face. confusing that with being Republican. That's I mean, I would love for him to punch me in the face. I can sue him that lawsuit. <laughs> both nights. He, he, Michael Jordan probably break me off $2 million and tell me to fuck off. And I'll be like, you know what? Thank you, Jordan. Thank, you. Thank, you, Mike. <laughs> thank you, Mike. Thank, thank you, Mike. <laughs> I I think, thank you, Mike. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. And that's the other thing. Is we, we are so based on fear. Like, I was listening to another podcast. Black man with a gun. Shout out to him. Uh, but he was like, the black and the Jewish uh, voting blocks tend to be so afraid and want all this gun right stuff. But you're the first two historically that when shit hits the fan are affected by people who have guns, mm -hmm. such as the state. And we can't ever lose sight of the fact that the state has been the greatest 
aggressor when it comes to your actual life than anyone else. As much as the KKK is done, remember, it was legal and it was the government that employed slave clutchers. It wasn't necessarily Uncle Tom's racist ass running the plantation over there. It was the federal government being like, well, I mean, should have came north in the mix and Dason, bro. You, we told you. Should have just hit out for the rest of your life. But now that we through with that part, we let's went. go into uh, let's go into the Alabama pregnancy. That's where I really want to go. tell the story. So, uh, no, you want to talk? Have y'all seen this story about this girl getting arrested in Alabama uh, who was pregnant and then she lost the baby I heard after couple, she got I heard, shot? I heard some small things about it, but I need the full details because it sounds crazy to me. You know what, I'll read. That's good. I'll go ahead yeah. and I'll go into it. So, we had this woman in Alabama, right? She gets pregnant by a uh, dude. We're going to call him Danny. So, we're going to call her Beth because, fuck. So, Beth gets pregnant by Danny. And, you know, the pregnancy's grown. Things are going along. So, she's about the fifth month, right? She found out Danny cheating with a side bitch named Sarah. Now, Sarah got a good government job because Sarah, you know, she ain't no dumb hoe. She just kind of, you know, hoish on Sundays yeah. and Saturdays and sometimes Fridays. But Sarah over there had a job. And what did Beth do? Beth get her and all her chicks, all of them, they ratchet. We're not going into names. They pull up in a... 92 Toyota Corolla because for whatever reason they couldn't get a camera. You probably got a Honda. Hold on, that fit. <laughs> the Corolla fit everybody she broke? Oh, yeah, yeah, her yeah. and three. <laughs> well, her and her man, friend. They can, they can compact themselves. <laughs> it, was her, it was her and three of her friends. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It was her and three of her friends. That's how they got in the <laughs> Toyota Corolla. Yeah. So they pull up at Sarah's job and they walk in. Sarah the receptionist. I mean, again, she a hoe but she not, you know, like, dumb. She a receptionist. She's pretty smart. You know, she worked her way up to executive assistant. Hmm. Um, and they're like, pull up, bitch. Let's go. Like, you over here, you fucking Danny? You just thought, thought I was going to know that shit? I wasn't going to realize that shit? And then Sarah like, look, I ain't got time for this. I don't want no drama, Charlie. Y'all need to, like, leave. And they're like, no, we're not going to leave to whatever. And then Sarah, she got a whole bunch of white coworkers. She like, you know what? I ain't about this. Like, she tell her boss, and she like, look, I just need to leave. I don't know what this chick is doing up here. They being loud. Maybe if I leave, they'll leave here. And her boss is like, cool. So she leave out through the back. What do better her friends do? They figure Fine, out how to get to employee parking, <laughs> and they basically chase her and run up on her there and try to fight her. And she like, no, no, like leave me alone. She try, she get into her car, and what does Beth do? Beth pull her out of the car and start trying to beat her ass. What was her but, friends doing? Why are they making her do all the work? Because her friends is ratchets, man. They 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 mostly there for the for the show. So she like get Sarah. She like get Sarah off. So Sarah start. Or, sorry, she get Beth off. Beth start losing the fight. Then her little ratchet friends jump in. All right? Okay. At this point in time, Sarah like, enough of this fuckery. She pull out 9 millimeter, And she like, y'all need to back up. Sarah like, all right. Or, sorry, Beth like, all right, cool. So she still charge her. What so what fuck? does Sarah do? Sarah shoots her once. <clears throat> At this point in time, now that the weapon's been brought into it, now the police get called into it. Everybody get brought down to county and all that stuff. And the police, they get statements from everybody. They get footage. They get white co-worker testimonies. And they're like, you know what? There ain't wrong. So Sarah get let go. At the same time, now that Beth has been shot in the stomach, the bullet sadly hit the child. Mm. Tragic. So she gets an abortion. Since she caused all this, the state of Alabama said, under our law, which is now the law, you got an abortion after six weeks. So you are going to jail. Oh. That's not why she's going to jail, though. I think she was charged with uh, negligent homicide. Negligent homicide. What? Negligent. Because she got the abortion. Because she so, hold caused on. a situation that made her have to get an abortion. Was the baby, if the bullet hit the baby, was the baby dead before said abortion? Uh, I believe the answer to that is yes. So it wasn't an abortion. It was a clean no, out. No, 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 it was no, a clean no. out. Te- te- technically, you could have a baby that's brain dead. Oh, so you supposed to carry a dead baby in your body until brain you brain dead baby? Yeah, that's according to the. But that's Alabama what I'm asking. Law. Was the baby was the baby dead? According to Alabama the, law, the you, baby's dead. The Either. baby was dead before the abortion from the bullet. From the bullet. So yeah. So whatever she did to cause the baby to die by going to go fight this lady while five months pregnant, she right. went to go fight this well, lady. Stupid. I don't. I think she did some dumb shit at the Dollar General. But <laughs> he made it, he yeah, made I made it seem like he had this illustrious yeah, job. This nah, oh, Dollar General. General. You rolled it up at the Dollar General. <laughs> Dollar General. <laughs> All right. Still, Let's pull up the Dollar General. Still, if the baby dies and there's a dead baby inside this woman's body, correct. And the abortion is really not an abortion anymore. It's pretty much cleaning out the the, the mother. She still caused the mother to. The mother still caused the death of the mother baby. still caused the death of the baby because the death happened yeah, before the and abortion. That's what we call because she wasn't charged for. That's an what abortion. we call manslaughter. Sorry, she was negligent homicide. She was manslaughter. Okay, so because a mother's baby dies would be like if she had caused the if she had started a fight 
And then she was like, you know, this is a bad idea. And the girl still came for her. And she ended up getting shot. And then the baby died. Because then they both would have gotten neg- negligent homicide charges. But since you tried to continue a fight that this girl didn't even want, thus warranting her to pull out her gun in self-defense against uh, grave bodily harm, you at that point are upgraded from negligent homicide to manslaughter. Wow. Wow. I don't even... This is crazy. This is kind of crazy. I, is, isn't it her baby? It's her baby, number one. It's inside of her body. The baby didn't ask for this fight. It's inside of her body. Baby don't ask for shit, but blood exactly. and succulents from the mother. Exactly. asked for a mother to worry about herself instead of going out there and fighting somebody over some fuck shit. That was if dumb. If she had fought Danny and Sarah pulled up there to fight her, that'd be understandable. Because at this point in time, now the side chick done pulled up on you when you trying to whatever. But true, you true, went true, to go true. fight the side chick. Which was dumb as shit. So did she think that because she was praying she wasn't going to shoot her? Is that why she I kept charging? I don't know. Maybe she was like, <laughs> like I'm going to keep charging because I'm praying that she's not going to shoot me. He ain't going to kill me and his baby. <laughs> okay. And what she learned was you uh, had Sarah some fucked people up. don't give a fuck You got your Sarah baby. fucked up. <laughs> But still, I don't, I don't. No, Sarah, not fucked up. Sarah. No, no, Beth had Sarah fucked up. Sarah did what she was told. Oh yeah, exactly. Sarah did exactly. I, what she I, told I was clear. Do you think Beth deserves the charges? No. Uh, I, I think, think she deserves to do some some time, Beth, but not no fucking homicide. The question shit. is, yeah, no, that's no, what, I think we agree. Manslaughter again is not. She didn't get homicide or attempted homicide. She got manslaughter. That means that you, due to your actions, cause the death of another. Which is true Directly No direct link Now negligent homicide Is just if I like Left my Glock out here And a kid Pulled it Picked it up And shot themselves in the head That's negligent homicide right. I, My direct actions Didn't cause it But it's my fault Because I put forth The situation Where this could even Be a thing Right She directly Led to the death Of another Due to her actions Cause she was five months She was playing To have that baby She was Yeah So we're gonna call it a child Now imagine this situation Alright you get in a fight Well no nah, You're not gonna get in a fight With a woman Right no. Whatever <laughs> Woman comes at you She got a gun And you shoot her You get charged With double murder right Killing her and the baby Killing her and the baby does that happen? Is that real? Is that, no, it? Is that how it go down? You get anytime you, you, you kill a pregnant if you, person. If you kill a pregnant person, oh, yeah. you get charged so with they, charge, they charge you yeah. with, with two counts of homicide. Uh, well, one for the mother, one for the baby. So why I don't understand how you support her, but if you were to do it, the other no, way no, around. I don't, I don't support. I just don't know if I agree with the charge if being she, what it is. I don't know if it should. So be you agree that she should be charged with something? Yeah, something should, should happen to her. I just don't know exactly what because that was fucked up. Like you, you did the dumbest thing in the world, and your baby dies. And if I was the dad. And you did this dumb shit. Now my baby did. I'm gonna have a problem. That's why I'm, I'm looking at it from a dad point of sp- from perspective. Like you got my baby killed. You got my baby killed because you was mad. Oh, he was fucking somebody, right? Yeah, I, yeah, he was cheating. Yeah, because I think, yeah, I think he was the way they explained it. Like I, she was the side uh, chick, or was she the main is. chick? I think she was. The she main found, she just found out she was the side chick. chick. <laughs> She made it just find out she was a side chick. Whatever the case oh, yeah, may you be. You never know. It could, been, it could have been the other way around. Yeah, it doesn't really side matter. Side. You don't go fight somebody while you're pregnant. Yeah, that's not that's not smart. That's why I'm looking, looking at the friends. When you're telling the story, I'm like, what is the friends doing? If I, oh, if, the, friend, the friends were smart enough to not get in the fuck. No, they should have been the ones doing the fighting oh, in the oh, first no. place. If I'm, I'm about to roll up. No, I'm not catching no. Well, they know. If they fight, they're going to jail. This is your side chick. If I got a ride on a nigga and my leg broke, I'm in a whole leg casket. And I call you, Tony. If I call Team Money and I date Women sometimes. Yo. Like to be in the chaos, but not necessarily they be in it. jump in. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But yeah. if I'm fucked up and I call y'all to go ride on somebody, everybody should know why I ain't, I ain't doing that. Why we gotta ride on this nigga? It don't matter. Why can't you go? Whatever the reason. Yeah, really give me a reason out there. I mean, <laughs> it matters. That's not how black people handle things, it man. Look at this man. He already took, he already took one for the team, all right? But yeah, if you, you agree, gotta give me a reason. Whatever the reason was, it was enough for you to agree to come. If you agree to come, then you know. Matter of fact, fact certain people are doing shit. It's like two or three people. This thing about most reasons, a nigga. A nigga gets in a fight, he gets beat up. He calls home, but like we got, we right. gotta go get this nigga and shoot him. True. Why? I, I'm not coming. I'm, I'm not coming. I'm, not <laughs> I'm just saying, most niggas when you see it, he goes back get his boys and they go kill the nigga exactly. and beat him up. And that's yeah. stupid as fuck. That's dumb. Not, I'm not saying that's the reason. I'm saying whatever reason I gave you was enough for you to say, "All right, cool." So we're already in but the car you know, at this point. <laughs> yeah, y'all already agreed. Whatever the reason was, it was good uh, enough. You already agreed. I'm gonna say though, like right? same five. You were never got in the car. Yeah, I probably would never got See, the I would have got in the car. I would have got in the car, too. Yeah. I'm just no, saying, say no. five, I mean, seven times. Like I got a broke leg. If you see my leg fucked <laughs> up. And you, you thought I was going to help. I was like, gonna oh. That's going to get you. He's going to man, my leg broke, man. What if his leg was broke, too? Then I'm thinking it's like a fair fight. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see two people with broke legs fighting. <laughs> 
that's why you got in the car. He's like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. gonna be entertaining. I'm being an agent of chaos at that point. <laughs> World star. <laughs> but if, if I'm about to go do some dirt and y'all y'all agree to get down with me, and you see I'm fucked up, you know that the I guess dirt I know is gonna fall saying. heavily on y'all shoulders. So basically, she sh- she shouldn't have been a, she should have been in the back. While the friends, the are, friends like an RPG, yeah. right, you got the three people in the front, you in the back. Right. Bitch, you know what <laughs> exactly. this is. Exactly. I brought my bitchy with me. Exactly. The friend should have known. Attack. Hey, friend should know. Hey, my homegirl pregnant. She's throwing out her Pokemon. Yeah, my homegirl pregnant. I'm throwing here to rough you up for her. <laughs> That's what. Damn. Host like that mean she got fucked up. Friends, her fucked up friends got to fuck up. But remember, they're women. They're, the women don't ride like men. They really ain't no, friends. No, you're right. Yeah, because some of them for just ten years. Really you get one fight, they break up. Family. <laughs> they really ain't friends. No, y'all yeah. fucking best yeah, friends. I know women don't really have friends. <laughs> they don't. I they promise. might have one or two. And they might fuck yeah, your yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. You talking about this nigga fuck me good? The best friend gonna go fuck him just mm. to see you like damn. Yeah, that's some crazy shit. I don't care, bro. I didn't heard some stories about some girls get some good. Cause they're not really friends. They from live a life friends, of jealousy and I didn't go try to get the head from the chick that he told me the friends that get the head. I didn't do that. Why would I do that? I, I want to find my own. Why it's girls crazy. do that shit? If well, you, it just goes back to I mean, if you recommended them. <laughs> well, I mean, like, if they recommend it because they open for business, that's another story. No, no, no. They <laughs> recommend it. They recommend it. Like when a girl is telling another girl something, that's a recommendation. It's just whether or not she. Does yeah, but I tell but her do something. It's not necessarily a recommendation. Nah, it's just they like damn. I guess it depends on the chick. Niggas tell right. Depending on the girl open for business or not. Yeah, if she's some like hoe, you're like, yo, that bitch can suck a dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really try that shit out, homie. And I'm gonna tell you to go get it. Yeah, go get it. During that conversation. I'm done, dude. I'm done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm done but man, she, I'm done. she come out for both of us if you down like that. Right, right. Damn. Oh, that's all like a story that we're not getting into. Man. Like back in the day, man. Yeah, back chicks in the day. is dirty. That's why I said I'm glad I'm not a female. I'm why? Glad. Just because, because you because see the shit that you can't trust worry nobody. About that kind of stuff going down. True, you really can't trust. Yeah, and remember, we still want to vote for you for president. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely terrible, and we will vote for you, given the right candidate with the right speech. Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> I mean, no, nah, I think she's the most basic. Like that's my problem with Elizabeth Warren. She's just so basic, and she's already lost to Trump once. Are you mean basic, like in basic core values that America is supposed to be no, upholding? No, 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 no. Who we're no supposed I to be? love her policies. She's just the most basic woman candidate i'm a woman i have feelings and i have thoughts and here's some Fuck your feelings and here are here are the here's my big picture and i've got a plan for everything and it's just like elizabeth but don't we need you, like regardless kamala has something that you like or hate about her even her even sarah palin has something that you like or hate about her elizabeth oh. warren is the most generic white cracker <laughs> that has ever existed. And I'm not talking about cracker in a derogatory term. I'm talking as if she's an actual cracker. As if she's an actual cracker. Flavorless? She's the most you mean flavorless? Flavorless saltine <laughs> that there is. She's got great ideas yeah. so she has tons of great condiments but the actual cracker herself hmm. is just flavorless. Alright, okay, so back I... to this shit. What do we think? She's supposed to go to jail. She should be no, facing she should charges. Should it be jail, jail or and she needs to stay there for a very long time. She needs like, to face yeah. the fullest extent of the law. Along the, the fullest extent. Two to if you years, shot her and she died, how many how 15, many years you get? Jesus Christ! Yes, but she I killed to a pregnant give up motherhood versus over her this killing her own baby. You That's not her baby. own baby. You are part of it. Don't buy that bullshit. That's not her baby. It's it your is, baby. It's our, our, baby. Our, our baby. Okay, our, our baby. baby. What about him? He just lost his baby. You're right. His love. I would want justice if I was a dude. That's what I'm trying. That's to That's why her ass is in jail for 15 years. Because she the one who put the baby. So hold on. So if this was your girl, you like throw the bitch in jail. Throw the whole bitch away. Oh damn! No, 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 no. This is an yeah. accountability thing. If you. If it was the you, other way around, you're you, going to jail. Exactly. You're only you being nice because it's a woman. You decided to. So, so if she keeps coming at me to swing, I'm getting bruised up. I'm like, fuck this. I'm shooting her. I'm going to jail. No, but as a man, you're going to no, be stronger that's different. and faster. But what I'm saying is, let's do the exact opposite scenario. If you, Tony, Tony, Tone, Tony. was left to babysit a child. You put the child in the car seat wrong, and then you drive off. Somebody start talking some shit with you, and now you racing after him, and you get into a car accident, and that kid goes flying out of there, this imaginary kid, yeah, it's yeah. not gonna actually happen because you're not a fuck nigga, and the child dies. They are charging you with manslaughter. That's not a question. But how would they know that child was in the seat wrong anyway? Because it flew always- out the damn window. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might give it away. That might have gave it away, bro. So if, if, if on top of that, <laughs> if on top of that they, they have people saying, Tony, that you did the, that you did a car race that you didn't have to do, that you was racing through the streets, they gonna hit you with the manslaughter charge. It's not gonna be a question. 
They gonna give you all full twenty of them years, and everyone is gonna say a reckless father like figure. Mm. However, if you were a woman, I don't know, man. <laughs> Something like that. I don't. I don't think she be facing those charges. Yo, I mean, mean, it was her okay, body. Okay, okay, listen, it was listen. her baby. So, so let me clear this up. Do we not think the fact that a woman grows a baby inside of them means anything? No, no, it does mean something. What does it mean? But Tell it has me. no, it has no bearing on nothing. this scenario because this isn't a woman who, for whatever she reason, didn't care about an abortion and then mm-hmm. kind of couldn't get one, so now she's stuck raising the kid. This baby was in effect way before the abortion debate even came up. She was True. planning on having this child. Right. And she could have came right over to Georgia if she wanted that abortion. Exactly. If she wanted an abortion, she could have came right over to Georgia. So this is a baby that she Go to had. Columbus, Georgia. They got abortion clinics. They oh, got. man. What's the name of them? <laughs> <laughs> I'll send them to you later. <laughs> <laughs> send them to you later. <laughs> <laughs> you know they got plenty in Atlanta. I don't know why you're <laughs> fucking around playing. Like, you ain't got to go that far. You're right. I had a boy. I had a But no. <laughs> Neither of y'all two niggas. Y'all terrible. Y'all terrible. She had an abortion. You had no choice in it. Remember, paid, it's her I body. I paid for it. I did too. Because her ass was broke. Four hundred dollars down right. the drain. Four hundred. I had it down the drain. Compared you mean, to what in you some medical for institute, where they could have been in NFL zone by now. Or, or going <laughs> into it. <laughs> really? That's what you think that would have been like? Maybe. Been hey, it's probably in the NFL on the stem cells that they use for them children, them NFL players for bro, healing. We don't, talk, we don't talk about that at the all. The medical waste. We don't talk about that damn, at all. Bro. Yeah, them stem cells in some NFL player right now. <laughs> so just think about it. You probably are in the NFL. So like hard. that nigga look like T Money. <laughs> Those hormones. Playing tight end? What the fuck? That nigga look like T Money. Oh, wait. But. Kind of, kind of do a lot of that baseball player. To, being able to have a baby has some bearing. Just not in this because you threw all of that uh, understanding that we would have <laughs> had for you if this were something where it was like truly negligent. Like you right, were right, driving, right. you got into like something where I don't want to say a road rage incident, but y'all got into an argument and then a chick shot you. That's one thing. Like, that's like, all right. I mean, most people are going to argue. You're also, you're high off the, off hormones and all these other things. But you went to fight a chick. And then you went to try to fight the chick when she was trying to leave. That's, that's no longer just a, this is a disagreement. That is you willfully chasing someone to engage in combat. Yeah, but you didn't think you was going to get shot. But you have to always. No, it's a fight. fight. These niggas it is a fight. Do a fight. I'm going to ask you a question. What? How old are you? I'm 37. If you fight somebody, what is it to? To the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no reason to fight that much. We were like, we were in high school, you know, maybe yeah, a little bit of college. Fight, little last time you fought you somebody, you don't scrap no more. It's death. Yeah, somebody just died. scrapping because we like, shouldn't even be fighting. If I got to that point, somebody's gonna be hurt. That's what I'm saying. Bad. Like it's, somebody got to die. Yeah, somebody got to die. More likely, she's young, but still, they fighting. Like what? Like what would that fight resolve? But think about this. I don't. I don't know because you said she's young. How old is she? She might be. They didn't give her age. Not that I know of. If she's a between she like, you know, thirty and twenty, yeah, between thirty and twenty. You know what I'm saying? They but she's from Alabama. She street. might be in her late twenties. So can I ask y'all this? So <laughs> say you were married and you come in your wife's fucking a dude and you kill both of them. Are you going to jail? Most yeah. definitely. I thought there was a case where you could fight that. What they, what if you're a woman, temporary insanity, my yeah, brother. Yeah, if you're a woman, you'll probably get off a of temporary insanity. You're 27. Yeah, as a man until 27. Oh shit! I told you 27. you had to be late 20. 27. It's yeah. Alabama though, so you got to take at years because right. you know education <laughs> system is that of. She's yeah. really 24 in the mind. No, 20. <laughs> yeah, Alabama. Marche Jones. Damn, bro. Oh, I don't know. I don't think she should be the abortion law shouldn't apply to her. She didn't even look sad. That's what. She look like eh. she looked fucked up. Look, look, nah, look. she don't look fucked up. No, she looked like she wanted them crazy. Yeah, she looked like she Chuck. Like right crazy. There, I wouldn't boy. fuck no, her. No, I'm not saying she's not crazy. I'm just saying she don't look like she's sad. And she like, was shot. Yeah, and this after being shot. I would nah, not. I would not fuck with her. She got damn soldier. Would you hit? Would you, no, hit, no. Would you hit that? No. Maybe with makeup. She look. She look. Like <laughs> like <laughs> no, bro. You don't see. I thought about it. I don't see. She's not that ugly. No, I'm not talking. I'm talking about crazy. She don't look crazy to you. Yes, no. She look like she. She look like she down for. Too many cars. Bruh, yes. Off rip. They probably oh, nah. rejected her with so much fucking shit. Like, she just. Nah, she looked crazy, bro. She looked crazy. She been rip. shot. She shot. She deserved it for not giving a fuck about that child that was in her womb. She she didn't care about it. She shouldn't have aborted it because, you know, it's still an option. Or she could have delayed this fight. I mean, you would have plenty of time to beat this chick's ass and she would have never seen it coming. I mean, True. It, they'll you say. Had plenty of time. They'll say she was an emotional wreck, but. 
Yeah, but yeah. I, yeah. I found that post on Sean King. A lot of women was like, she shouldn't face charges. The other woman should face charges. But, of course, in the original article, they didn't add the three friends, uh, witness accounts and stuff like that, how it happened. And I'm just like, y'all, I believe, like, well, even you were doing it. Should the other women also face charges? No. Hell no. no. It's justifiable homicide, nigga. It's four, try to four come on out one. Me. There's a such thing called justifiable homicide? Hell yes. Yeah. Justifiable homicide is, Let first and foremost, she did four what she didn't have to do. She retreated. Okay, Alabama is a stay in your ground state. The moment right. somebody comes at you, you can shoot them and kill them if right. they come at you with intent. The fact that she was trying to fight you, that's intent right there. That throws away everything else. With they, three friends? With three friends? You telling me? Three friends? You telling me three people so she come don't up face to face no I get it. I get it. She, she ain't got to face no, 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 no Yeah, they picked problem. her up. I think yeah. they picked her up, but they let her go because. Yeah. And she how? Got attacked. And then she was pregnant. Well, I mean, if you get into a, if you get into a shooting. They're gonna always pick you up, but once they verify your account and you yeah, nine times out of ten, I'm, now I'm, she's good. In case y'all don't know, nine times out of ten, if you shoot somebody, you're going to jail. Yeah, yeah, nine times out of ten until they figure out what's going on. Yeah, yeah, you're going. To and jail. if it comes out in your favor, and nine times out of ten, if you're black, let's just say ten out of ten. Yeah, you're going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a gun. You're going, even if you know you're gonna be okay, you're going to jail. If you get pulled over with a gun, you're probably going to jail. Nah, See, nah the grand nah. jury thought that uh, Jemison acted in self defense. And denied and declined bringing charges against her. She did. All right. I can see that. I mean, if I got jumped, and I have. I felt like on you were being soft on her because she's a woman. I was. You should. I, I know, but, but let me should. tell you why. I, let me tell you why. I, I still struggle with understanding. Yes, our baby that we put in your belly, but you have to grow. You're the ground. You're the seed. You're the earth. No, that, you're no, the earth no, that no. Has you're the seed. the seed. I'm the seed. You're she's the, the oven. After we draw, all no, we she's the earth. all we doing the is running around okay. sprinkling seeds. Yes, we have a responsibility. It's hard as hell to sprinkle them goddamn seeds. You never been to farm? Yeah, I mean, you, you, you <laughs> toss the seeds. Yeah, plow that, that ground, boy. It, it, <laughs> that, yo, that's just is, a couple. It is, it is not that hard to sprinkle seeds. Shit, it's you hard know. to cultivate. It's it's exactly, and they're doing the cultivation. Your cultivation would be getting into the hands. Nine months, bro. Nine months of cultivation. I would assume nine months of cultivation. Ten months. Something is different. Ten months. Ten months. Technically, yeah, it's ten. Why everybody say nine months? It's wrong. Nine months. Nine months for pregnancy. But to be honest, like the first when it's month growing, of your child, is growing. the first month of your child basically just shit. No, it's ten it. months. It's fifty. No, it's fifty-two weeks. That's how long a pregnancy is. That'd be ten months, ain't it? No, they've been, saying, it up, man. They been saying nine months. Nine months. months. No, I know nine true. months is wrong. No, like if you think it's about ten about months. It, she doesn't know at first, so you know why it's growing in her stomach. That's yeah, but then you find out, out and they minute. tell you you're three months along, or no, they you're two it. months along, and then you go into nine months. That's when they start looking for you. Because they can't tell you exactly you what day that shit started nope, happening. Whatever the out. case may be. 280 days is the average amount, which is 40 weeks, which is nine months. Okay, nine how months. Long? But how I, long is that's it supposed why to be? I'm struggling with a woman that has to cultivate a body inside of themselves for that long after we just sprinkled the seed. Bruh, okay, is there right, not. So, so it, it's actually murkier. So, good point, Ari. <laughs> so. Oh, Technically, shit. it can be ten months if you're looking at the full period of time that's what I'm which saying. gestation occurs. That's but, what, it makes sense. But that's that that means that you're counting the gestation period in which you're technically not pregnant because mm. although things have been fertilized, they're not actually doing anything. It's basically just a, a hold in two weeks where it's like, all right, let's just see if this shit actually. I feel like you're giving women a lot of credit for holding babies. Bro, because I ain't never I mean, held a baby. It's their damn job, bro. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, I ain't never no, 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 that no, shit. The reason that argument falls apart is because niggas don't take care of their kids. It'd be different. Niggas do take care of their kids. That's so a lot. Do don't say that. I know other niggas who take care of other niggas' kids. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, you know, oh, you know oh, other oh. niggas take care of other oh, niggas' kids. Hey. But those other niggas is not taking care of them kids. Thus, the nate negating what? the thing that that one guy did. Hey, nigga, everybody needs a hero. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, because we only speak about the black experience, because we don't know what the white one is. I want to change that from what I said last week about stepfathers and everything. You know why I changed that? Why did you change your stepfather's op opinion? What'd Which you say? So I ain't hear that one yet. Oh, you want to hear what I said? I ain't hear that one. I'm a stepdad. I'm a stepdad. Let's come on. Oh, you, you, you don't want to know. I said stepfathers are suckers. Oh! <laughs> Why ain't got no water? Why ain't, why ain't yeah, why would you throw water? I said I'm going to change it. I wasn't going to throw it. I you want to know why I changed it? Because I forgot black niggas don't take care of their kids. God ah, damn. I didn't think about that. But why Why stepdad suckers? At that point, I didn't think about our responsibility. That's about me. Mm -hmm. Me, I have a kid. So I thought it was okay to date women with kids. If you have no kids, I don't see a good reason to date a woman with kids. Understandable, but does that make me a sucker because I did? Who, you? Me, personally. I have a, he, I'm a, I'm a stepdad of three children. Response, that's why I changed my whole thing because we also talked about fathers. And I'm just like, I forgot black niggas ain't taking care of kids. So some of us got to step up. Some, somebody got to step up. But the it's reason. It's a big move. It's a big that move. That was the reason because I wasn't thinking about stepping up. Yeah. If I was in your situation, 
I would not step up. Which I understand. <laughs> you shouldn't be would forced you step to step up. I'm in the process of doing it. You gonna step up? You gonna step up? And I think that's a good thing because last week I wasn't. I'm thinking about me. I'm just it like, happens, but see, it's, it's like you said though. I mean, like the niggas that won't hear this for two weeks. Yeah, because that was actually last week, uh, mm-hmm. actual last week, aka this week, which was the a controversial Father's Day to you. Yeah, because I mm-hmm. thought about it and I was just like, I remember I didn't have no kids and the other person, what's his name, Our Armstead, person. he used to always date women with kids and we didn't have no kids. I'm just like, bro. But what if you, you think doing? about it, <laughs> almost every fucking female in Georgia has kids. Why you gotta pay for somebody else's responsibility? Because <laughs> you're black. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. I, I didn't think about it like that. Yeah, yeah, like you think yeah. about it, man, it's, you, it, if you find a woman that doesn't have no kids and she she's might doing do it, good in Georgia, you know, that too. A so lot, a lot of it's, right now, it's hard to find It's just a Georgia thing for sure. I mean, it's all over. It's everywhere. I don't know. So, I, last week I was like they suckers, and then as a week as I thought about, it, that's why I wanted to take it back. It had nothing to do with you being no, here. No, not personally, but stepdad. Because I forgot that you bro, did. It's a big thing. <laughs> it's a big thing, bro. Like it's a big responsibility. Niggas don't take care of their kids, especially when so the we kids have like. To. Fuck you, you like We didn't say that last week. <laughs> you know how we hard it is not week. to punch somebody. <laughs> you, you ain't my daddy, but like, no. well, fuck you. No, up. no, we did. So this is this is good. This is good for people to be able to hear that we're growing. What was the name of that podcast? A controversial Father's Day to you. Alright, yeah. that's gotta refer back to that and I wanna change my opinion because I forgot niggas don't take care of their kids. Yeah. So oh, you went the whole show just saying like you're a sucker. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure he went hard. I'm listening to that shit tomorrow. I know he went hard because he go hard on everything. <laughs> no, I didn't go hard. <laughs> no, he didn't go hard. We we had a very well rounded discussion. It's just uh, at the end he threw that in there and I was like, nah man, I feel like you gotta take care of He just but sprinkled no, that I'm on the speaking from a black perspective. I don't give a fuck what Yeah, because I wasn't thinking about it like that. I was thinking about myself when I, if I'm like this age with no kids, I don't think I would. It, but, but at the same it's damn time, impossible too. That, yeah, but yeah. that's growth. Is you were thinking about it yourself, then you started thinking macroly. Like there's a lot of Asian niggas, so somebody it gotta is, take bro. care of the kids. It yeah, is. at the moment I was just like, I would try to go young and just find me a young chick and knock her up. I mean, there's nothing kids. wrong with that approach either. Yeah, that, if you could that get would that, be my first approach. Yeah, if you could get that, get that. <laughs> get that. Yeah, get that. I'm, I'm not recommending this shit. I'm not throwing no, out. Okay. This shit. <laughs> He just said, you know, it works either way it goes, right? Right. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we took it to the entertainment perspective. We've done a whole, a whole thing on this. So, what are we going to get into next? Well, that's it for this part of the Everyday Black Man podcast. The next part will come seven days. And it's going to get more controversial with T Money and, of course, Fortune.